But first, we want to maximize your daily workout, making the most of the time you spend sweating. Samantha Bowers, mm -hmm. AKA the Fit Brunette, is here to show us how it's done. And you say, even if you have a short amount of time, you can still get a great workout in. Absolutely. If you have 10 to 30 minutes, you can do a high intensity interval training workout okay. or HIT. It's become really popular recently, and it's because of how effective it is in such a short amount of time. So you don't need to block out a whole hour and a half. You don't. And we're actually seeing that it can prove to be more effective than a long distance steady state workout. And is that what we're watching here, part of a high intensity quick burst workout? That is. And actually, the great thing about HIT is you can actually turn any workout into a HIT workout because the idea is that we're going to set aside time intervals for intense work followed by rest. So if you're doing your normal sit up crunch workout and you want to make it high intensity, all you have to do is exert maximum effort and follow it with a rest period. You brought a yoga mat. I did. So you're going to show us uh, a couple of moves. The Fit Brunette has some moves. Um, so what would be an example on like right here with this yoga mat that would be the antithesis of just a low key workout? A low key workout. Okay, so when most people think of a core workout, they think of your standard crunch. Right. But there are actually a lot more moves that you can do to target more muscles and burn more calories in the same amount of time. Okay. So what I'm going to show you is a Russian twist. And instead of just targeting the front of our abs, we're going to target our obliques as well with this move through the okay. twisting motion. So when you're doing a Russian twist, you want to make sure that your feet are elevated, your back is straight, and that you're engaging your core and twisting through your shoulders and not just your hands. So we're going to move from side to side, just like this. And if you want to up the intensity, you can even hold a dumbbell. Oh, that yes. would up it. Yes, okay. it definitely would. And you say don't shy away from the heavy weights. Yes, absolutely. And actually shy away from the machines and go for more of the free weights. Because when you sit down to do, say, a shoulder press, for example, yeah. the machine is handling all the stability and balance that your body would otherwise have to do. So when you move to a free weight shoulder press, your core and your back are going to have to be engaged. We're engaging more muscles to maintain that balance and posture, and we're burning more calories. That's actually a liberating thing to hear because if you're just doing free weights and you're not using a machine, that means you can do this from home. Absolutely. I actually do all of my workouts with dumbbells only because of the benefits that it proves to have in the long run. Well, if we can look like you after working out, however you say, we'll do it. Uh, you say you should try to vary it up. Is that true? Do you have to always vary it up? Absolutely. Well, it's important to mix up your workout for two reasons. Mm -hmm. One, to avoid that exercise rut that no one wants to get into. We don't want to get bored with our workouts, but also because we don't want to hit a progress plateau. About every six to eight weeks, our body has adapted to the routine that we've been doing. And it's important to change it up and maybe implement some form of cross training. Try a fun workout class, make things fun, and enjoy what you're doing. Can you show me? Can I try the Russian twist? Absolutely. Go for it. See, now the Russian twist to me sounds like a drink, <laughs> but I'll do your workout moves. Okay. All right. In those shoes. That's In impressive. Shoes. Well, that's why I'm just sitting, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. And so your feet. This twist. way? Yes, absolutely. Do I hold it like this? You can if you want. Whatever's most comfortable for you. Is it a bad sign that my I'm trembling? Uh, that means abs... it's working. Okay. So <laughs> just do go. this. Twist through your shoulders. Can Good. this be my workout for the day? <laughs> it can. It counts. She's like, no, please. All right. Samantha, thank you. Thank you. And now we know. <laughs> it's called a hit workout.